hello guys welcome and welcome back to another video today's video will be a will like to touch up video i know that i already posted a video on how i do my will like to touch up but i really wanted to share this one with you because i've been using uh, some new method and letting go of old method so one of the new method is me uh, pre-basing my hair the night before with this dax pomade i i i have um we base my hair scalp, my entire hair scalp, and sectioned my hair in in small section for the application, and I've twisted the rest of the hair. As you can see, guys, I have a lot of new growth, so it is very painful to separate those new growth on the day of the relaxer when applying. So I did this to avoid scalp irritation, and I've seen a lot of uh, relaxed hair YouTubers doing this, and I think it is really one of the best way to prevent scalp irritation. So my mom is now pre-basing my the rest of my hair again and the, uh, the hairlines etc. And she start applying the relaxer on my hair. You see that this wig it goes very fast. It is less messier and you have control over your hair. So that's what uh, we like, and I think we're gonna just continue doing it this way. And so, um, pre-basing my hair scalp the night before is also a good way to do it. Uh, you can also do it the day of the relaxer, a couple of hours before you relax your, your hair, but for me, the night before was better. So we had 20 minutes to finish applying the relaxer on our hair. So we, um, on the relaxer direction, the application, I saw that we have to uh, uh, apply the relaxer within five to eight minutes. And then the last 12 minutes, we use that to smooth the relaxer on my hair. And this way, really, you will get a better benefit. Your hair will be different. And I had a very different experience uh, when doing this. My mom saw all the different. So yes, please read the direction of how to use your relaxer and how long you can let it on your hair. I have coarse hair, so I should let it for 20 minutes. Shorter is also good, but never go longer than 20 minutes. So now it's, my mom is smoothing the relaxer on my hair. And by the way, I forgot to mention that, that I also based the rest of my hair, the hair that was already relaxed, I have based it with some Dax pomade just to prevent um, over processed hair. So guys, you, as you can see, it is very hard to not overlap. We overlap a little bit, uh, but it was not that bad. Overlapping is very hard to, to, to avoid. So anyways, on the last five minutes, my mom is gonna apply the rest of the relaxer on the baby hair, like the front line and the back line, and that will be it, and then I'm gonna proceed with neutralizing my hair with the neutralizing shampoo. So the second method that I've been using is to neutralize my hair uh, three times and I let the neutralizing shampoo sit on my hair for five minutes. The, the last two rounds, so five minutes each round and then I've proceeded with my uh, bond builder. I've used the Olapex number three and the Plex Breakage Defensor those are bond builder when you relax your hair you break the dark sulfur bond in your hair and many others um, uh, strength in your hair like protein and other things that I don't even know about 
but hey after you relax uh, your hair needs a bone treatment and i've done my research on all our packs and i think i thought it was worth trying it so yeah i've used them separately guys not at the same time so now my hair is in its deep conditioning i have used my ors replenishing uh, conditioner and i let it sit for 30 minutes and this conditioner contains uh, a light based protein after my treatment were done we started to proceed with uh, cutting the hair guys <laughs> we needed to cut a lot of hair especially dead a lot of dead end and we also needed to put everything on the same length so my mom and i were arguing whether to to trim the hair when it's wet or when it's dry and she was convinced that we should trim it when it is wet but anyway i i let her do her thing and after that i moisturized my hair with the leave-in conditioner and uh, applied some heat protector and blow dried my hair and then I saw that we needed to do some more trim. I don't recommend anyone to trim their hair when it's wet because you won't uh, be able to see where to cut and how much to cut. So better do it when your hair is dry and uh, and stretch so you can see your your true length and cut it right so over here i was applying the leave-in conditioner and this is the amount of hair we are cut so far so yes yeah, you can see the inches and then i here i proceeded with blow drying and everything was done and as you can see i'm going to zoom it closely so you can see um the hair that still need to be uh, cut or trimmed so yeah we went through and did another trim it is how much hair that still need to go to leave you see they were uneven so we fixed that So over here I was just combing the hair again and to see where exactly the hair need to be trimmed and yeah I was just like looking at the hair and combing through and checking everything and on the next one you're gonna see the like over here you're gonna see you see the end those ends that is what needs to be cut like still a, a huge length for me but I really need to get rid of it guys because I prefer short hair with thick end than long hair with thin ends because that is not length that is just dead and you see so I was really not happy with this hair so i just wanted everything to be gone from that part you see there that needs to be cut so yeah just waiting for my mom to just save my hair again and again <laughs> Alright guys, this is the final result. You see how shorter the hair has become. <laughs> but I'm happy with the ends and uh, everything looks intact and full. 
it is how I want my hair to look like. So, and the other good news is that this is the end of this video. I really appreciate you if you have watched so far. Like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Share this video if you care. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.